Hello friends, welcome to the second tutorial of three phase circuits. In this tutorial we'll talk about relationship between line and phase voltages and currents. In this tutorial we are going to establish an equation between the line voltage and the phase voltage in a star connection. Before we do that please understand and <clears throat> thoroughly uh, get familiar with the terms associated with the star connection. In a star connection we will have this central point which is known as neutral and there are impedances or windings connected like this so that all of them are terminating or originating at the neutral point so whenever we take these phase voltages please understand that V R, V Y and V B are the phase voltages because of the fact that they are with respect to the point neutral and this has been discussed in the previous video also so in other words just skipping the <coughs> subscript N from here does not mean that this is any other voltage. So once we know that the phase voltages are the same and they are between the neutral and the respective phase, we'll need to find out <coughs> the other possibilities of voltages that arise in this connection which is the voltage between this line R and this line Y which will be termed as V R Y the second possibility is the voltage between the line R and B which is V B R and the third one is V Y B and because these voltages are between this line R and this line Y and this is termed as the line voltage <coughs> so phase voltages are going to be VR VB and VY and let as assume they are equivalent to VPH <coughs> whereas the line voltages in this case will be given by VRY, VYB and VBR <coughs> now in this particular case we observe that the line voltage is the vector difference of VR and VY for VRY we observe that it is VR minus VY <coughs> now why is that so for that we'll need to understand the uh, phase diagram for the voltages here we know that the voltages in a star connection are equal and they are separated from each other by a phase of 120 degrees so just by looking at this phase diagram we know that they were separated from each other <coughs> by 120 degrees and if we were to do the uh, vector addition of VR and VY to find out VRY it will be practically the difference between VR and 
vy because we'll need to extrapolate this vy in the other direction making it as minus vy and in order to add these two vectors we'll use the um, diagonal method where we'll draw <coughs> a parallelogram of the sort you know that and this is going to be the sum of or the resultant of these two vectors so basically this is v r minus v by <coughs> and this will be termed as v r y so you need to manipulate the properties of the phase voltages that they are 120 degrees separated from each other and in order to find out the <coughs> vector sum of these two voltages will employ this method and once we extrapolate this Vy in the other direction making it as minus Vy the angle between them Vr and Vy becomes 60 degrees so when I try to find out the magnitude it becomes Vr square Vy square plus 2 Vr Vy cos of 60 degrees in <coughs> under root and we know this is phase voltage this is also phase voltage twice of phase voltage phase voltage and cos of 60 degrees under root and this will become twice v phase voltage square plus twice v phase voltage square into 1 by 2 so it is going to be under root of 3 v ph and this is a super important relationship <coughs> so my line voltage vry is equivalent to under root 3 times the phase voltage the line voltage in star connection is um, greater than the phase voltage by an amount of under root 3 and on the similar lines you can calculate that vyb will be equivalent to vy minus vb it is the vector difference and VBR will be VB minus VR and for all of them you'll need to extrapolate the uh, vector in the other direction to make it as negative to find out the sum <coughs> or the resultant but uh, the f fact of the matter is that the line voltage will come out to be under root 3 times the phase voltage in all the three cases so which is pretty consistent once this condition is there and and you can also see that vr y is equivalent to vyb is equivalent to vbr which is equivalent to VL line voltage all the three line voltages are equal also in a star connection where the phase voltages were equal balanced star network it is known as and <coughs> uh, a fundamental relation uh, is that VL is equivalent to under root of 3 VPH and learning this relation will help you or will facilitate you solving a lot of numericals uh, in both competitive and university examination and you could draw the uh, complete phasor diagram for voltages by you know extending this and in this uh, in the other directions now let's talk about the currents here it is it is observed in a star connection that the current the only current that flows in the star connection is uh, the 
the line currents and which is incidentally equivalent to the phase current if if we were to consider this as a line you'll see that uh, the the current originating from this phase is the one which is flowing into the line as well so understanding that the current which is originating at the phase is the one which is flowing on the line makes the things really really easy in star connection <clears throat> so i'll say that uh, all the currents i r is equal to i y is equal to i b is equal to i p h and we know that i l is equivalent to i p h also so line current is equivalent to the phase current in star connection and line voltage is equivalent to under root 3 times the phase voltage so this is how the relationship between line and phase voltages and currents are there in the star connection now we know that in star connection the line current in each line is the same as the current in the phase winding so the current in the phase winding you know is is being sent to the line it, there is no further distribution of this current there is no further division of this current so very 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 important point to understand but uh, this is how simple the relationship of line and phase currents is and finally in a balanced star connection i r plus i y plus i b they are always equal to zero so this condition is always met when <coughs> the star is a balanced star so uh, this is what i wanted to cover in this tutorial i hope this tutorial was of help and if you liked the content give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel i'll see you in the next video where we'll talk about the delta connection um, take care and bye bye